And good morning. Welcome back to CBS 2 News this morning. We couldn't think of a better place to start our class act series than here at Mawa High School. Nothing prepares you for the loss of a child. George and Debbie Kale know that better than anyone. In 2019, they tragically lost their son, Marcus, the youngest of five boys, to sudden cardiac arrest. Now, I spoke with George the other day, and he made a point of saying, look, we don't want Marcus's name to ever be forgotten. And that's really the reason we're here at Mawa High School all morning today. It's to celebrate Marcus. It's to remember Marcus. Marcus, and it's also to thank Marcus. You have to be vigilant and find ways to keep his memory memorialized. We feel like his name is staying out there, and people who don't know, didn't know him, now can hear Marcus Kale, Marcus Kale, Marcus Kale. He must have been a special kid. He was amazing. He was beyond special. The youngest of five boys, Marcus was a superstar soccer player, a stellar student, and a world class brother and son. Very easygoing, just kind of happy-go-lucky type of kid. With the level of soccer he played, he played internationally in Europe. He experienced so much life in his 16 years. That at least is something that we can be at peace knowing that he lived an amazing, beautiful life yeah. while he was here. On the night of December 26th, 2019, the Kales lives changed forever. We had a wonderful Christmas. Mm -hmm. It was kind of uh, unbelievable. We spent all our time together with our family. At about 8 p.m., the five brothers went down the street to their grandparents' house to be with their cousins. We get a phone call at about midnight from one of my sons that Marcus had passed out. They said he just stood up out of his chair and, and he just collapsed. and just collapsed. Yeah. They administered CPR right away and Marcus was rushed to Valley Hospital. We were there for hours and he just wasn't recovering. They couldn't get a heartbeat to come back. We just couldn't believe it. Where our minds were like, this is this is a nightmare. This is, is this a bad dream. What could possibly have happened? I oh, like this is not happening. So they said, uh, we we're sorry, and we're just like, oh. just we all. Luckily, my sons were there. My niece, my nephews were there, and we just hugged them and kissed them and and told them how much we loved them and um and. Uh, we kissed them, and uh, we said, thankfully, and uh, we, we, we said, we need an autopsy. We need an autopsy because we don't know we what's going on. We needed answers. We needed, it was such we needed a to shock. find out what happened. Marcus passed on December 27th of 2019. Late the next morning, the autopsy revealed a two inch scar on the posterior wall of his left ventricle, which could have caused the sudden cardiac death but no one knew for sure. Did anybody ever call you with a definitive of this was what it was? We finally got the genetic testing and they said that they found that Marcus had a gene. Everyone has the PPA2 gene, but he had a pathogenic variant. It was a genetic anomaly that exists in both mom and dad. Marcus ended up having both, both. of them. Everyone has genes that are not designed properly. But if you have a specific combination, mm -hmm. then it can create any kind of, any number of different diseases. To honor Marcus's legacy, the Kales created Hearts for Marcus. And through that charity, over 120 Mawa High School kids will be screened with EKGs and echocardiograms that are optional and confidential. This is what we need to do. This is what Marcus would want us to do. Everywhere you look in the Kale home, you can feel Marcus's presence, from his room still untouched to his image visible from every corner. Every Christmas card still includes his face. I'm not sending one if I can't include my five sons. So we have five sons. One lives in heaven, but we have five sons. And we're joined now by the family, Debbie and George Kale joining me. And again, the brothers, let's meet them. Let's go right down the line. We've got Jordan, we've got James, we've got Michael and Joe all here here this morning to pay tribute to their brother Marcus. Um, I know this is a bittersweet day to see something like that. I know we all get emotional, uh, getting emotional when I talked to you the other day and everybody here who knew Marcus and whatnot. Today is a special day, though, is it not? Yes, it is. Today is Marcus's 20th birthday, and we're just so blessed and grateful to be here to acknowledge 
acknowledge him, remember him, honor him. George, you had mentioned to me, and I, I mentioned this before, about not wanting anybody to forget his name and his legacy now is what we're really trying to build on. Tonight you've got the, uh, the basketball game here. Uh, everybody's wearing the shirts. This place will be bathed in red tonight. How nice is it to see everybody come out, support the family, support Marcus's legacy? It's, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. It's remarkable that we have such a wonderful community. Um, people really care about Marcus. They care about our family. Um, appreciative of CBS coming out and you um, willing to do a piece on Marcus and what we're doing uh, to remember him and to raise awareness about sudden cardiac death. So it's just it's thrilling and also for it to be on his birthday is just unbelievable. Um, Mom, you had told me the other day that uh, and again, no disrespect, brothers, but that Marcus got the best of all of them. Yes, we absolutely feel that with all of the blessings of all of our boys, all their talents, that Marcus got a little bit of each of his brothers. Yeah, you guys, how proud of, are you of Marcus and the fact that you know he led the life that he did? Mom said the other day that he lived such a full 16 years uh, but to see this type of support and to see that everybody is so interested in helping his legacy and his name live on yeah we're incredibly proud of him I mean I think it just speaks to who he was as a person that so many people show up to all these events that we hold and you know so many people in the community just knew Marcus and really appreciated who he was as a person and was mom right did he get the best of all of you oh yeah definitely <laughs> who did he get the most of anybody take credit <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, but again, you know, I, I thank you for obviously letting us tell his story, letting us come into your home and, and uh, get a chance to really know Marcus. I didn't know him back then. Of course, I had heard about it. I know the family. I went to school with your younger brother, um, and you guys are, are Mawa royalty around here. Um, as far as moving on with people out there that are wondering how can they get involved, what's the best way for people to get involved? I think for for them to understand what uh, first uh, the value of MCOR or and other companies out there that are um, their mission is to go around the community, go around the United States, raise awareness about sudden cardiac death, especially in young kids ages 12 to, uh, to 22, um, specifically athletes, but all individuals, um, because that's 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 unfortunately it's a killer, yeah. and if you can catch it in time, um, you, can, you can you can do a lot of good. Sudden cardiac arrest, the number one killer of student athletes under 18 years old. We're going to talk more about that. We're going to talk about the initiative now, this Hoops for Marcus game tonight, the money going towards testing here at Mawa School. Over 120 kids have already signed up to have their hearts tested. MCOR, which you mentioned, George, they'll be here on campus next week testing those kids. It's confidential. It's anonymous. But again, you know, you've got to have your heart checked. It could save your life. To the Kales, thank you very much. To everybody here at Mawa High School, thank you for being here this morning. You guys are doing great. We're going to be here all morning telling Marcus' story and meeting more people, and we'll be right back right after this.